that was poison ivy at work doing one of the things that she's best known which is seduction uh, she uses that to her advantage because in addition to being uh, a plant lover and villain she actually is quite attractive but even to me i think she does look pretty good. i said that like hillbilly style i don't know why like purdy that's so stupid i never talk like a hillbilly at least I try not to. Yeah, we got all kinds of action going on here. You better be scared of that, man. I'm trying to position myself in a way. I'm just trying to. It doesn't look like it's gonna work from this angle. I'll go up here, maybe. No! Oh. Well, that was so retarded, but it worked. He does not hit like a girl. I don't care what that button said. Just for that, I did a combo takedown on you. Oh, I see. See, as a battle leader, so I interview takes a sitting right on that panel. That went pretty well. Despite the insults. Yes, I'm sitting in the right now. Oh, excuse me. There's like a mini burp there. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I love that line. The ones that were here like this went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. I thought the gardens would be the last place those escaped goons would be interested in. So much for lots of mysteries. You know, so. And here's another interview tape that's going to come in. Hello. I've got you what you asked for. Do you like it? Oh, yes, Stephen. I love it. Such a beautiful. Flower. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh, no problem. I can't leave it. It's against all the rules. I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit. But it's me, Stephen. I get so lonely on my own. You wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? No, of course not. You keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really, no one. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. And there it's that end. Looks like Joe Green's booby control box. It's going to be tougher than before, but it's a risk I'll need to take. Oh, I'll get to that in a moment and explain what he meant by that. Uh, first, if you go up here, there's another security box. I believe you do need the upgrade, the range amplifier for the cryptographic sequencer to reach that panel that's behind this electric fence here. And I don't know why, but I can't seem to find it. The right. Wow, this is taking a while. Oh, I think I had it there for a second. There we go. Wow, that was tough. That took a lot longer than necessary. In here you can find a Riddler trophy, and somewhere around here, oh, it's over right here, yeah, well, I am just so tongue twisted right now, it's not even funny, uh, a Riddler secret map, yes it will, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take a look at that map really quick right now, um, uh, oops, I completely missed a riddle back here, um, yeah, you can see there's still more areas in the Tampa Garden too. You have to even touch up on. But I'm going to go back to that first room at the entrance. So I cannot believe I missed that. Before I do that, though, we need to finish what our purpose was to coming to this room. Uh, this is a booby trap rigged uh, uh, which, uh, panel because Joker has laughing gas strapped to it. And what happens is uh, you have to actually activate three different codes. 
and you gotta do it quick before that gas gets released. And I'm sucking this terribly. Hurry up, Batman. There we go. Wow, that was close. I could hear that thing ticking. It was almost ready to go off. By doing that, though, we've gotten rid of the uh, electrical surge going on in that room. Looks like I've cut the power to the generator. Right now. Yes, we have. Okay. And as I said, we're going to make our way back to that room momentarily. But first, well, I'm going to go to the persistent one. the entrance. Always one step ahead. Which isn't a loudspeaker. Uh, it's actually a riddle. At the very beginning of this room, you can find an indent here that you can crawl through. I cannot believe I missed this. This should be like the first thing I should have done when I came in here. Uh, but when you make your way through here, you can find a Chronicle of Arkham. The beast was too strong. His animal savagery nearly cost me my life. I took my frustrations out on a lone patient. His case notes suggested he was a paranoid schizophrenic. His pleas, as I beat him to death, suggested much more. His confessions were illuminating. My path was clear. More and more unfolds with that story. Um, as I said before, I actually do know um, the Chronicle of Arkham is actually not the spirit of Amadeus Arkham, as he had claimed way back at the first uh, decrypted message. Um, at this point, if you think about it on your own, you probably can figure out who it is. I have to admit, I didn't know the first time I played this, but it made more sense the further I was getting through the game, so if you think hard about it, you can figure it out on your own, but if you continue to watch the rest of this LP to the very end, you'll find out eventually. Uh, but that requires patience, now doesn't it? Alright, we can safely walk through here now. Oh, I didn't... I forgot to mention, if you're, um... I'm gonna go back, actually, to demonstrate this. I'm gonna go back out to the botanical glass house. When you're out here, there's like this tune that plays. I don't know why, but it's only in this room and the entrance. You can hear it a little bit as well. But I, I think it's actually pretty calm and relaxing. First time I heard it, I actually just like stopped playing and listened to it, because it actually is a pretty nice melody. I thought I'd point that out quick. It only plays if you're in this room, and you can hear it partially if you're in the entrance. They should have just had it play through the whole botanical gardens, because in all honesty, none of these settings had, like, background music, just silent, ambient noises, if the lightning would flash, things like that. There's, like, no actual background music. That does add to the effect, though, of how this is, like, kind of creepy, scary, in the middle of the night theme. That's why they want the ambient approach, I guess. Oh, and partway through this tunnel, if you look down right here, I know Batman's shadow's kind of in the way there, but, uh, you can find, like, a mask, gloves, and it's like a book. Go ahead and scan that. That actually solves a riddle. And by doing that, you get another character bio. Uh, this is the Rat Catcher. Uh, if you've ever played Team Fortress 2, he kind of resembles um, Pyro from there, from that game, I mean. And, and I actually had, one of my friends actually has a costume that looks very similar to this, but he didn't cosplay as uh, the Rat Catcher, but as Pyro. 
every time I just think about that when I see the rat catcher. Anyway, just as the name implies, he can communicate with rats very well, despite being an actual rat catcher at one point. Um, uh, he has a way of communicating with rats, and he loves rodents, especially in comparison to human life, as the attributes state. But yeah, that's the rat catcher for you. I know I've been, like, talking so much. Oh, and interruptions occur as well. I forgot, there's also another Riddler trip in here, grab that. And, uh, I had enough experience to upgrade again, so let's go ahead and pick something. Uh, I didn't really think too much about what to get here. Um, I think I'm going to get the remote control battering now as a new item. I should have gotten this a lot sooner, but I just now thought about that. But it actually does have some usefulness here later on, so I'll go ahead and get that. That'll come in handy later on. We'll make our way here. Uh, we're now, like, officially underground the Botanical Gardens, if that makes any sense at all. We're not, like, in an official part of it. I mean, it's still part of the Botanical Gardens on this game, but, like, landmark-wise, within the game's geography, this is kind of, like, underground. It's like a secret storage room, I guess, that we go underneath. And we're in the abandoned chamber. Yeah, abandoned chamber. Just said I'm getting dyslexic already. And if you listen to that, finally background music. That's creepy too. And you can hear a voice. Sounds like Joker. He's up to something. Anyway. I didn't think there was any enemies, but I just wanted to double check to make sure. It sounds like he's concocting an experiment. That's not good, because he must have gotten the... Well, obviously he got the formula at this point. Despite the fact that Batman destroyed it, I guess they forced Dr. Young to talk it out. That's what was implied by the story, anyway. Oh, there's a, another Riddler trick, by the way. And there's another one here somewhere. Oh yeah, there's this grate here that you can enter. And pop out right here and you can get another Riddler trophy. Make your way back out the way you came in. Let me take a look at the map real quick. Okay, it says there's four more in this room, yeah. Uh, there's actually a couple you cannot get at the moment. I, either two or three. I I think we can get two more riddles solved in this room at the moment for the equipment we have, but we cannot get everything. I do know that. There's certain things that are like way up above out of our reach. As I was saying, it sounds like the Joker's concocting experiments. Oh, and by the way, don't do what I'm doing here. I don't even know why I tried doing that. You can't even, you can't use the grapple hook in here, because the place is crumbling, as he said, you know, from the old fashioned way. And technically, you could go through there if you wanted to, but I'm going to get, wow, fail. Now I'm going to walk all the way back again. What I was starting to say is you could go through that door if you choose to. I don't think anything stops you from doing that, but if you want to get a couple riddles solved, you'll do what I'm trying to do. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. I'm leaving that in. I am not cutting that out. You're gonna watch me suffer. So, ha. I don't want to mess this up again. Instead of jumping over there, I'm gonna do it like this. There are no words for this. <laughs> I can laugh this off and try to. Oh my god. I Come on, Batman. Don't do this to me. I really... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> am 
my god, that took a while. 